This one's a little different. I called a real company and got a call center from overseas. They were absolutely no help. And uh, a lot of times in the comments, people will say, how can people still fall for this? Well, I think this is part of the reason that American companies have call centers overseas. And if you listen to this call, it sounds the same as a scam caller. So that could be part of the problem. But it turned out all right. I had a happy ending. Not what you guys think. I went to the store and uh, they were able to figure it out for me. But the whole idea of being able to call is so you don't have to go to the store. So here it is in all its glory. Tell me more about your billing question. It doubled. So I can help you. What's the account number or phone number on the account? Hang on while I get your bill. This might take a few moments. To help me verify your account, please say or enter your account holder's passcode. Uh, I, I don't have it. Okay, let me find someone to help you. One moment please while I handle your request. All of our representatives are assisting other callers. Rather than have you wait on hold, we can call you back when it's your turn. Between 12 minutes and 15 minutes from now. One moment while I get someone from customer service to help. All of our service representatives are currently helping other customers. Your call should be answered within the next three minutes. It's quick and easy to pay your bill, change your plan, upgrade your device, and get support 24-7. Search for My AT&T in your phone's app store and download it today, or just go to att.com slash myatt app. You'll need a compatible device to complete your registration online. Data and messaging rates may apply. Hi, thank you for calling AT&T. This is Flora. How may I assist you today? Yeah, I'm trying to check out my bill. It uh, went up $218 from last month, and I'm wondering why. Mm-hmm. Okay, I understand that you're having a frustration about your bill. Um, don't worry, since you have me on the line, I will be assisting you and also making sure that the bill or the reason of your uh, high bill that you have um, in Canterbury will be explained very well, okay? Sure. So may I know who am I speaking with today? All right. Hi, nice to meet you, John. Yes. Okay. So um, just to set this up for you, I'll be needing to pull up your account. So can I have your passcode, please? I have no idea what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, it is actually the four to eight digit numbers on your account. Let's see. I got an account number. Mm -hmm. Um, account number is different from the. I don't the know if I got an old bill. I. I old, but I'm trying to wait a minute. I might yeah, have an old bill uh, here. No, that's Spectrum. Okay. So can I? No, I can I have, have the last four digits of your account? The last four digits of the account. Okay, thank you so much. So if you would want to, I can send you a one-time pin so that we can open your account and we can open your account and check the bill that you have in here. Uh, let me turn my phone on. The one, yeah, and I'll be needing the, the number which is accessible by you, wherein we can send the one-time pin and you can read it to me also. Okay. Uh, you can give me the last four digits of the number which you can have an access. Okay. So I'll be sending the one-time pin to the number ending in 8844. Okay, John? Okay. 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 All right. I have already sent a one-time pin. Can I have them? I just turned the phone on. I haven't gotten anything yet. Um, You haven't received any text message? 18 to 88170. Okay, thank you so much, John. Okay. Oh, wait, is All right, that it? Um, I'm so sorry, but yeah. It's, I'm uh, so sorry, can you please repeat that again? It's, uh, wait, let me get to it. Jesus Christ. Mm hmm. Take your I time, John. It. You have 303956. Okay, let me check that for you. All right, so I have already seen your account in here. That's nice. Okay, great. So you you were asked 
talking about the high bill right. that it, you are experiencing it right now. Yeah, it increased yeah. $218. Yeah, it's, uh, so may I ask, um, what's your usual bill? So how much does it cost before? 116 it was last month. Mm-hmm. Okay. So do you happen to remember any changes with your account? We added a phone, but that's it. But that shouldn't cost that much. I mean, my phone is oh. a, my phone is a flip phone, and it's ninety six fifty eight. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, that's awful high for a stupid flip phone. It looks like everything. Mm -hmm. went up. So when was the last time? When was the time you um, added that phone? Uh, beginning of September. All right. So don't worry, um, John. I'm already seeing your bill in here, and I'm still um, gathering information about the increase of your bill. Yeah, I couldn't figure it out. Don't worry. I will be giving you a clear, yeah, a clear explanation upon the increase of your bill. So may I know the bill that you have seen earlier is 218? It's the what? I, I didn't understand what um, you said. Mm, a while ago, you have told me that you had your bill, which cost $218. No, 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 no. This bill says uh, your bill increased by $218.79. Mm, okay. Okay. So, just to hold on for a minute. Um, can I please put you on hold for a minute or sure, two, John? Sure, I will just be working on this and, okay. yeah, review your bill. Okay, good. Thank you so much, John. Okay. Ten minutes later. So much for waiting. Okay. Oh, uh, so may I just ask? Did you happen to add a line on your account, or you just had a, had an upgrade? No, we added a line. The eight oh six. Oh, you added a line. Yeah. Mhm. Mm so where was that explained that when you add a line, there will also be um an additional fee for that? To every to all the did. To all the numbers? That's what I don't understand. No, for the for the line that was added. Right. I understand that because you got to pay for the phone. Mm, yeah. And you also had your activation fee. Were you aware of that? Yeah. But I still don't know why mine, mm -hmm. so, the 8844 number is 9658. It, it, that's not right. Oh, it's the 8844 line? Eight eight four. Yeah, the eight eight four four line costs, yeah, ninety six dollars and fifty eight cents. It is because you had your line, which is the unlimited premium, which cost seventy dollars. However, there is a discount for you, which is the signature members on AT and T, which is ten dollars. That's why it became sixty dollars. And on top of that, there are there are also tax and fees yeah, that I are understand in, that, but I don't, included in I, the account. I, 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 it's a flip phone. Why would a flip phone cost $96.58? I'd probably use it three times a month. Um, it, it's actually not the phone totally, but it's the line that you are using to that phone. So I can cancel that line. That'll save me $96. Um, it's already been activated. And no, my line, the eight eight four four. I've had that forever. I can cancel that and save ninety six dollars. Um, do you usually use that line for your business? No, I use it once in a while. It's a flip phone. It's nothing. It's nothing. I can't do anything but make a phone call on it. Also, uh, that's for personal use. Yeah, they're all for personal use. Yeah, and. Okay, um, so may I know when was the last time you had that line? So were you explained that that unlimited premium is cost that much? No, I, unless they changed it when she added the new phone, they might have changed everything at the AT and T store. We, mm -hmm. I did not. Also, uh, you authorize went to the AT and T store. That's where she went to do the thing. Yeah, so, to add the new phone for my um, nephew. Uh, so you weren't able to have an explanation about the line that is no. on top of the phone you had? No. Mm -hmm. I understand that. I'm so sorry if you're experiencing that. And 
as a customer, as a loyal customer, I do want you to experience that way. That is why uh, I'll be making sure and I will be doing my best on how can I assist you better and how can, um, how can I um, assist you with this and give you a detailed information and explanation to the bill you had. Okay. Okay, so the problem that you're um, having right now is for the line 8844 that has the Samsung. Well, really, it's all of them because why would the 8861 go up to 112? My whole bill was only 116 mm -hmm. with two lines. Okay. okay. With the 8844 and the 8861. Before we added anything mm -hmm. else, it was $116. Yeah, that's so, right. Right. So now it's 112 for the 8861 and 96 for the 8844. Why would they go up? Mm -hmm. Um. It is actually because for the line 8603, you had a plan cost $60. And on top of that, you had an installment, installment which cost $5.56. Yeah, I'm okay. not worried about that and line. And an activation fee. Yeah, and an activation fee for thirty-five dollars, excluded for the taxes and fees. Right. Okay, that takes care of the new phone. Okay, I'm talking about the old two lines. Yeah. The two old lines. Why would they go up? Oh, I see. Why so would... it's actually just the same. No, it's not. If I paid one hundred and sixteen dollars last month for two lines. And those same two lines mm -hmm. now are 112 and 96. Why would they, those two go up? Yeah, I understand. Okay, I understand. So just hold on for a minute or two, okay? I'll just be reviewing the bill. Okay. Thank you. All right. Ten minutes later. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, thank you so much for staying on the line. And actually, um, I already have the explanation to that. So basically, as what well, I can see on your account, you had your change plan last September. Okay? Change the plan? We didn't change any plan. And on top of that, you also added... Yeah, I understand an, the new one. An, I'm not you a, also added a line. Right. But why would... Yeah. The first two go up $96. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. There are also partial charges for that period. That is why those uh, bill or the two lines also got high up. But moving forward, you will be receiving the bill that has quoted for you or what is only the the amount that you will be paying. It's just so happened that for this month, you have to pay for the partial uh, pay uh, charges for those lines and the phone that you had as an installment. I, I don't get it. I don't know. I don't understand. I'm going to go out to the store. Okay, thanks for your help. All right. So um, hold on first. Um, again, you called in today to ask how uh, the bill went up and... I actually told you the reasons why about yeah, but I don't the same plan, the other I line, don't, and I, also... I don't understand any of it, so I don't... You really didn't explain anything. I don't know why 8844 and 8861 went up. I do not know why they went up. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll just be um, explaining this one for you again. Don't explain it again because I don't understand it. It, it, it. There's no reason the first two phone numbers should go up at all. They shouldn't have been touched. It has nothing to do with it's the new line. It actually has the partial. Partial what? It actually has the partial month credit. Partial what month? For the um, previous month since you had changed it. We didn't change month? anything. That's what I'm trying to say. We didn't change anything. All we do is add one. Ah, uh, because. Mhm. Mm I understand that, but it says on the bill that there is a uh, the service has changed last September one, and there is a partial month credit there, well, and we also didn't a partial this. month charge. Okay, I, I'm just gonna go out the store. For the Thanks. lines. Thanks. Take it okay, easy. Thank Bye. Thank you so much for yeah, calling. Okay. Yeah, sure.